Hi guys, welcome back to Wishing Tales. Today is Whipping and Wishing Wednesday. And as you guys can see, I am working on my good morning coffee. Uh, the details are coming out really nice on this picture. I am pleased as ever. Uh, it is a 40 by 40. It is from Home Fun. And I'm, I'm absolutely loving how it's turning out so far. Uh, when I'm finished today, I will post a picture on Instagram at Wishing Tales to show you the progress on it. Um, I'll also post it on the Facebook group at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting, just in case you're over there and not on the Instagram. Uh, kind of lost my train of thought there. I'm actually just looking for more sevens. I'm almost finished with this. I have this section all the way across, so this this much here all the way across to do and then I'll be finished I, I'm I probably won't be finished today because I'm just kind of like taking my time with it now I'm you can tell don't sit there and say that I'm you know don't make fun of me because I know they're crooked up here but uh when I say taking my time meaning I'm not in a hurry to get it finished but I want to get it finished you know what I mean so uh, yeah um let's see M's so uh, anyway, we'll get, we're just going to get into the wishing here. Uh, I did not take advantage of the sale last week on AliExpress, but I did take advantage to add more stuff to my wish list. So uh, I think next sale I'm going to be in trouble because I'm probably going to be ordering a lot. Uh, anyway, the first thing on my wish list, I actually saw these in my youngest daughter's bathroom, believe it or not. And I took pictures. I'm like, I wonder if they have those in a diamond painting. Because I really like them. They're really pretty. And, uh, you know, they're perfect for a bathroom or a spa or, or wherever you like to relax. Um, so, anyway, I looked. I took pictures of her pictures. And, yep, they have them in diamond paintings. So, I took those and I added them to my wish list. And these are it. And my only thing is, I think I'm going to order one, and I'm going to do it in a 30 by 30 and see if I can get the detail that I'm looking for. And then if not, I'll get them in a 40 by 40 because I think a 40 by 40 would definitely share the detail based on this picture here. And then, um, oh, that one's nasty. Oh, I'm just throwing stuff all around here. But anyway, I think I'm going to order one in a 30 by 30. And if the detail is good on it, then I'll get the rest of them in a 40 by 40 plus that one. Anyway, uh, I'm just dropping stuff already, guys. I hope you guys had a good week or are having a good week, I should say. Hope you had a good holiday. Uh, here in the States, it was Labor Day. So um, most people have off on Monday on Labor Day. Not everybody, but most people. My husband was one of them. And as much as I love him, I'm not used to having him home on a Monday because that's usually when I do a lot of my my catching up on everything here. And so he, he kind of put me a little bit behind. Not a lot, but a little bit. And that's all right. It's no big deal. We're back on track, of course. Um, I showed you guys our new addition yesterday, Dutchie. Isn't she adorable? Uh, and if you didn't see that, I will put the link down below for you. Uh, it was with the time lapse of the uh, five different companies. Uh, that That's ending tomorrow will be the last section, uh, part three. So... Uh, you guys will see the um, pros and cons, my opinions, and then you can make up your mind as to which company you would like to try or whatever. Um, some of you may have already ordered from all five of those companies. Um, but just in case, this way, if you haven't, it gives you an idea of how they are. And uh, I have another comparison coming, but that is going to be probably a few weeks out because I got bigger paintings and it's only two companies that I'm comparing. 
But uh, yeah, but that's probably going to be, let's see, it's September. Probably October when that one gets done. Because like I said, those are big paintings that I ordered from those two companies. Uh, let's see, what color? What, no, what color? What color? Let's do, let's just go in order. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. Let's get the W's done. So the next couple on my list are from, or not from, but they're for the craft shows next year. Um, I'm actually looking for them. But I don't. I only see the one. Why do I only see one? Oh, because I'm in my cart. Duh. Uh, here's one. It is a wine barrel with a wine glass. And the other one, I thought I had in my cart anyway, but I guess I didn't. There it is. It's uh, wine glasses with the grapes. Uh, we have a wine festival that's near us. Uh, well, we have a lot of vineyards near us that do festivals. And um, I don't know if they take vendors for anything. But if they do, we're going to be doing some of those next year, too. And uh, I thought these would be good, even if even if it's just a craft show. Because, uh, because there is a lot of vineyards around here, I think these would be really good uh, to have. And that's if they even make it to the craft show because I really like them because <laughs> these would look good in my kitchen too right next to my coffee oh I'm terrible aren't I I do like a good wine uh, I am more of a dessert wine kind of a person I am not much on dry wines so anyway um, yeah I want to get some of these because we do have a lot of vineyards around us uh, Maryland is becoming a very good state as far as wine is concerned I mean they've been growing over the years and uh, it's amazing the first wine festival that I went to to the wine festival now um, has just grown so much I mean it started I think with like 10 vineyards when I was there the first time and now it's, I think it's probably close to 50 if not more so yeah, so there's a lot of vineyards in Maryland now. And Maryland being the little state, you know, we don't have to go far to go to those vineyards. So um, so I thought these would be good. Even if I don't get to any of the festivals around here, I can at least do it for the craft shows. Because, uh, yeah, I think they'll work out really good. That's if they even make it to the craft shows because I like them. They might just end up in my kitchen. Um, so anyhow, uh, let's see, Let go back to my wish list on here. Um, did I tell you guys, did I show you Pua last week? I think, no, that was because that was Victoria's Moon that we did last week. Um, well, anyway, I found Pua from Moana, the movie Moana. And he is so adorable and I'm trying to scroll to it. And of course, I have so many on my wish list, I can't find them. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's four of them to choose from. I just wish that he had Hey Hey with him, because I really like Hey Hey. Hey Hey is the uh, weird rooster. Yeah. But he's, he's adorable, though. I can't remember which one it is that I wanted, but there's four of them there. Um, let's see, there's some more wine ones. Wow, I've got a bunch of wine ones. Oh, here's one I want to get. My daughter actually wants this one. It's a five panel. And, uh, she wants me to get it pretty big so she can hang it over her bed. And I'm like, okay, well, next time I order, I'll order it for you. And uh, she's the one that was in the one time lapse. I asked her, I said, well, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? And she goes, you can do it. I'm like, okay. But every time she comes over and she sees me doing this, she takes my pen and starts working on them for me. So I have a feeling if I had her do it, she would do it. 
Maybe she'll do at least one panel. I don't know. We'll see. But it's pretty. I mean, it's the ocean. Nice sunset. Uh, I just have to find the company that I like that has it that doesn't cost an arm and a leg because some of them are pretty pricey. And uh, we don't need pricey. See, I don't think there's any X's up here. No, I already did the Z's. C, okay. C, C, C it is. Which is a pretty blue. Uh, it's kind of like a royal blue, I guess. I know you can't tell on here because of the uh, backlight. And you probably can't see there either. But it is a pretty royal blue. So anyway. I know there's breaks in here, guys. That's because my other phone keeps going off. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know how that is. I'm going to really be upset when I start doing lives and I keep getting interrupted like this because uh, I still haven't figured out how to do a live yet, guys. Sorry. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. But at the moment, no, nope, can't figure it out. I think I only saw one or two threes in here, so I'm just going to work out of the jar. This takes me a little longer, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. I did manage to get a couple lives in over the weekend and during the week um, when my husband was sleeping. Cause, uh, like I said, I don't usually do too much on the weekends as far as diamond painting is concerned because that's family time for me and my hubby. And um, yeah, we don't usually have to go anywhere on the weekends. So it's nice to just, you know, stay at home and chill out with each other. Or if we decide to go somewhere, we can go together. Don't have to worry about picking up anybody or, or you know, all that good stuff. Oh, the rate I'm going at this, I, I could be done this tonight if I just kept going. But I don't know, because I'm going to end up needing a break here soon. Uh, I really don't know how long I've been talking between the interruptions and the recording. So, um, I might go make some coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet today. I'll tell you what, I'm going to finish this letter. For you, it'll be instant, so it won't really matter. But I'm going to finish this letter, and then I'm going to make some coffee, and then I'll come back. And we will talk some more wishing. But while I'm doing this letter, let me tell you the next thing on my wish list. How's that sound? Uh, let me get to something that's for me instead of the art show. Uh, do, 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 do. I already showed you that one. I didn't show you that one. That one. Okay, Alright, here's one that I really love. And uh, again, not sure what size to get. I don't want them huge. I'm thinking of 40 by 50 maybe. Uh, you guys know I love my Panthers. Uh, I have a tattoo of a native girl with a panther in her hair. And uh, my, my peacock leopard, leopard panther, whatever. I like big cats. And uh, he's so pretty. I'm going to dread the three tens on that one, but he is so pretty. I think that's what attracted me to that peacock leopard that I got from Tin Me Arts. Because he wasn't black. And I like the different colors. And uh, I might work on him for next week's uh, 
time lapse. I'm not sure yet. Don't hold me to it. But it's a it's a round, so that might be a nice little break from my squares here. We'll see. We'll see. Guess we'll just find out together, huh? Um, yeah, so I am almost done with my D's. And then I'm going to go make some coffee. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. Like I said, for you, it was instant. For me, I had to go get my coffee. Where are you? Right there. I love my coffee. So I'm not quite sure where I was, so I'm just going to continue. Hot coffee. <clears throat> have to get it so I can reach it. Anyway, while I was waiting for my coffee to brew, I was looking. I was looking up more pictures, like I really needed to add any more, right? But um, I found this little guy. And I do like tea too. Although I tend to drink more coffee than tea nowadays. But I just thought he was cute because, you know, I like my dragons. And I thought he was adorable. Got a little tea bag. It says star tea. Aww. Of course, you have to have the sugar back there. So I was looking through and um, I seen this little one. And I just thought she was just so cute, blowing her little bubbles in different shapes. I think she's so adorable. And uh, you know what? I grabbed a letter, and I don't even know what letter I'm working on. Oop, and then I'm flinging them everywhere. Jeez. And look, do I have any M's? No. I already did the M's. Wow. What was I working on then? Huh, I kind of lost track, guys. Where am I? So, I already did the M's. I did the D's. There's no M's. That's what it is. So I don't see any M's anyway. I'll watch. I'll, finish. I'll find them later. Why? Okay, we'll do Y's. Why, why, why? could break out into song but I'm not going to uh, cute story well cute to me anytime my mom and dad and I used to go up to my grandmother's house every Sunday morning and my dad was the kind of person that he could take anything you say and find a song that matches it and it was just so funny because you know, like I just said, why he would he would have broke out into why baby why baby why baby why, but it was like everything that you say he'll find a song for it, and I find myself doing the same thing nowadays. Uh, I don't mean to, I just do it, and these these are kind of crooked. I'm talking about the drills itself. Look, I got two there. Hmm. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was cute. And my husband does the same thing sometimes. He asked me a question yesterday, or not yesterday, a couple days ago. And, uh, one of his co-workers basically said, name this song. And he said, the, he told me what the phrase was. And it, he said, he goes, you know, you're standing at the looking glass and... How did they say? He said, uh, you're standing at a looking glass and it's not your reflection. It's a reflection of a little girl. And I said, well, he didn't say song. He said, where's this from? And the only thing I could think of was a book, you know, through the looking glass. And then I was thinking of TV shows, uh, once upon a time. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Well, then he told me what it was, and I'll tell you what it is here in a second. 
Now, had he said it the right way and said, name the song, and had said the words right, standing back from the looking glass, there stood a woman where a half-grown kid had stood, I would have known it right away. It is a Reba McIntyre song, and its name is Fancy. And if you guys didn't know that, that's the answer. But I'm after he told me what it was, I'm like, well, that's not how it goes. And I, so then I started singing the song. And he's like, you didn't have to do that. And I'm like, well, yeah, if you had said it right, I would have known what it was. Um, I like country music. I like all kinds of music, actually. But um, I love Reba McIntyre. And apparently his co-worker sings this song every day on the backhoe and I find it funny and um, if you knew who the if you knew the guy you would really find it funny but uh, it was I was like yeah you just said it wrong I, I can't get it unless you say the phrase right so but anyway so uh, next on my wish list I found this one I've actually had this one on my wish list for a while where'd she go and uh oh no where'd she go and um I think she's absolutely beautiful and I wished I could find all of the princesses. Well anyway, it's Belle standing with her I guess it's Belle looking at the castle. And I wish they had the whole series, like Cinderella doing the same thing and Sleeping Beauty. And I this is the only one I've ever seen. And I found it with Ever Moment. And if I ever do decide to get an Ever Moment, this is probably the picture I'm going to get. I can't even find it now. But anyway, it's up there so you guys can see it. But as I was scrolling through that one, I found other ones. But yeah, wouldn't that be cool if they had like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and Tiana and all of the princesses looking um, Snow White. I just think that would be so pretty. And I've missed a couple D's. Crap. Did I even do the D's? I don't know if I did or not. But uh, yeah, I, th I thought that was so pretty. And that one's been, that was like way down on my wish list. This was like one of the first ones I even put up there. So I guess I'm going to have to break down and order it. Uh, I don't know how much it would be at every moment. I did have the one, um, I did get my first ever moment. And if you watch the videos, of last week of the uh, comparing the five companies and again the last part of that will be on tomorrow one of those is an ever moment and I am impressed with the quality but we will go over that more tomorrow and now I don't forget what am I working on why yeah but yeah so but I want a you know big picture I got this one for comparison purposes and I think when I can order, I'll probably get that one of Bell. Uh, that is the first place I ever seen this picture was Ever Moments, so that's probably who I'll order it from. There's quite a few Ever Moments that I like, though, that I want to get. Um, there's here's another one. Uh, actually, the dragon was from Ever Moment too that I saw. But uh, another one is this one. I don't know if that's Alice or what, but it's just a girl looking at a door with a bunch of butterflies. I just think that's really pretty. Uh, I know last week I showed you guys a lot of fantasy stuff. Uh, obviously, I do like fantasy stuff. But, I mean, that's not the only thing I like. That's just what I've seen so far on these websites that I do like, so... Uh, I'm trying to stay away from fantasy stuff, but it's really hard. Oh, pardon me. See, I need my coffee. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute. Why is that up there? This, this goes here. Okay, I'm getting my numbers mixed up now. I switched out all my uh, my jars that I have on the sides here. I switched them out from my 
uh, uh, Victoria's Moon to the uh, coffee, and I think I put them in the wrong order, but it's okay. At least they're numbered. I found another seven. Okay, ten is an I. I don't think I have one. One, two, three. So I was standing back looking at this when the light was off. And again, it is just so, so pretty. The details are just, you know, unbelievable sometimes to me. Because this is actually a smaller painting. 40 by 40 is not that big. The... We watched, um, I don't think I told you, but we watched Avengers Endgame last week. Uh, if you guys are Marvel fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then you won't. But it was a good movie. I'm not going to say anything because, you know, some people are like me and they wait until the DVDs are out. And they might not have it yet. Like, I want to tell you guys, I have not seen the movie E.T., I know, crazy, right? Never seen it. And on one of the TV shows that I watched, they were talking about it, and they were, like, telling what happened in the movie. And I'm like, oh, my God, spoiler alert. And then I'm realizing, you know, that movie is so old, I guess technically it's not a spoiler alert. But for me it was because I've never seen the movie. I just never took the time to watch it, actually. And I've seen bits and pieces of it. But it was like, well, now I don't have to watch it because you guys just said what happens in the movies. So, but I'm very bad about that. Um, I was on Facebook when one of the Star Wars movies had just come out. And uh, somebody on Facebook had spoiled it and said what happened in the movie. And it was like a major spoiler. And he didn't warn, spoiler alert. And I've, to this day, I still haven't watched that, that st particular Star Wars movie because I already know what happens. And it's like, I know I like the movie, but... I'm very upset that I already know what happens, and so therefore I haven't watched it yet. I own it. I just haven't watched it yet. Uh, I need to catch up on the Star Wars stuff because Disney World has made so many different things, so much new Star Wars stuff, and I'm so out of the loop on who everybody is now. I need to catch up on it. Um, I am a Star Wars fan. But I'm definitely not a Star Wars expert. I am a fan of the originals. Uh, because I am that old. And uh, my son and I talk about those quite a lot. And for the age, for the time period, to have the graphics that they did back then was like monumental. And uh, we were discussing that last week. And... He's like, yeah, but the graphics today, and I'm like, yeah, but you got to understand the original trilogy, for that time, you know, that stuff was like mind-blowing what they did. And he's like, well, that's true. I mean, my son's 25, so he is a, um, he's a big Star Wars fan. Uh, is that a Q or an O? I think that's a Q. I think the O's are a different color. No, nope, that might be an O. No, nope, O's that color. Well, wait, that, oh my goodness. What color's Q? Okay, Q's white. Okay, that's an O. The glue was like on it and I couldn't see what, what letter it was. So anyway. Oh, sorry. I went brain dead there for a minute. So anyway, the next one, we were, I was talking about how I keep showing you guys fantasy pictures. But uh, this next one has also been on my wish list for a very long time. 
and uh, I seen it on Ever Moment when I was looking through there. And again, I'll, I might order it from Ever Moment, but I have seen it from other companies. Uh, Home Fun, I believe, has this picture too. And you guys know how I feel about Home Fun, so it might end up being a Home Fun picture. But I just thought this one was like uh, uh, classy, I guess you could say. Sophisticated looking. And yet you can tell who they are. You know, you got your Snow White and oddly enough, I'm not sure who the second one is. Is that supposed to be Elsa? Because Cinderella looks like it's the last one. But Elsa has blonde hair too. So who is that second one supposed to be? Huh. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Tell me, tell me, who is it? Well, you got Snow White, and then whoever the second one is, but it, I guess that might be Elsa. And then Sleeping Beauty, and Belle, and Ariel, and Cinderella. I thought Elsa had, well, Elsa actually has white hair, don't she? Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. But anyway, I like it. That one I might do pretty big. I might do that one either 50 by 50 or 60 by 60. I think a 50 by 50 would work. Judging by judging from this picture, because this is a 40 by 40, and it's got good detail, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking a 50 by 50 would be good. Uh, I also forgot what letter I'm working on, J, which is finished. So now I'm going to get the next letter. Uh, if let me guys, let me know if you guys have done this. If you have, tag me on Instagram so I can see what it looks like. And what size you got, because I really love that picture. Like I said, that one's been on my list for a very long time. Um, I'm still waiting for my one. I'm still waiting for one that I ordered with uh, the same day I ordered those home funds that I just showed the unboxing from on Monday. And the unboxing from last week. Uh, what was that one? I forget, but uh, I'll link them down below for you. But yeah. I'm still waiting for one picture that I ordered at the same time and it's it's kind of worrying me because it's, I would have thought it would have been here by now but uh, we'll see I guess it's a it's a tangled picture but it's like it's the back of her head where you can see the flowers and her hair and all that good stuff it's really pretty uh, I'll put that picture up here I don't know if that was ever on my wish list or not as far as showing you guys but, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for that one. And, you know, I don't know what happened to it. So I have to look and see how long I have before I should start to worry. Never fails. You put it back and then you find more. That is part of those beautiful coffee beans. But as I'm putting this back, I do not see any G's. Uh, F. I don't see any F's either. Uh, I found another J. See how that goes? Uh, I really like those black and white pictures. Um, I found some pictures and I looked. They weren't. They weren't. Um, they weren't uh, diamond paintings. So I'm gonna have to scroll through and look and see if I can find them in a diamond painting. Because I love the black, white, and red, and I like the black, white, and blue, but they're harder to find, I think. And now this is the color that has the two shades, so I have to. Be picky on these. These are my peas. Um, I'll show you a couple of the uh, pictures I'm looking for in the diamond painting. Uh, they're kind of pretty much abstract, but I like them anyway. But the only thing I can find them in is an oil painting. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, there it is. There's one of them. And uh, that was just like, I don't know, pretty much just an abstract piece. 
I like it, but I want it in a diamond painting. I don't want it in an oil painting. If I'm going to get an oil painting, I'll just paint it myself. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew that, but I, I do paint too. But It's been a very, very long time since I've actually painted anything like that. Uh, one, I don't have the uh, stuff to do it with. I do have the canvases. But my paints, I don't have enough to uh, do what I want, so. And I just haven't bought any more paints because I got into other crafts, so. I mean, I could fill my house with crafts. That's how much I love to do crafts. Although I think my husband and my mom would probably have a conniption fit if I did that. And it's broken on the side. Sorry, I know I'm quiet. I just want to, uh, I really want to try and get this section done, but I don't know. We'll see. So I found a couple others, um, that aren't diamond paintings, but I like them. This is another one. And that one looks pretty easy if I was to get it as a custom or even just buy the stuff to do it myself. I'm sure I have enough of those colors to do uh, maybe a small version of that. But I like it again because it's like not, not straight across. What letter is this? Nines? Do I even have any nines? Yeah. But I like it. I just need to find it in a diamond painting. And I'll probably do that when we're finished here. Um, I just saved the picture so I can look later. And then um, there's this one. I've seen something to that effect. But not that one in particular. And I like this one because it has that little bit of gold in the middle. Uh, do I have any eights? Eight, eight, eight. Mm, no. Where am I? Bs, no. As, no. Es, I already did. K, okay. K, okay. So, but yeah, I like that one. I just want to find it in a diamond painting. And then, um, oh, yeah, let me show you that one. Oh, where'd it go? Crap, now I gotta scroll back down. This one, I absolutely want this one in a diamond painting so bad. Isn't that so pretty? I love that with just the one standing tree. It looks like at one time it was a painting, the night scene, which is, if you like blow it up, it looks like that's the stars and stuff. But I absolutely love that it's um, horizontal like that. And I love the one red tree. There's a tree, uh, when we go to town, there's a field that has one lone tree like that in it. The only difference is there's like a hill behind it, so you can't tell with the, uh, you can't see the horizon and stuff like you can with this one. But I just love that tree. I would be sad if they ever cut it down, because he's in the middle of the field. He's not hurting anything. Uh, one of the oldest farms around us here, uh, I believe it was built in 1847, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, had a really huge old tree was probably there when they built the place and um, we had storms go through a couple weeks ago and, and lightning and it 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 didn't make it but it was hollow inside so it was just a matter of time before that one went anyway but it was such a pretty tree I love big trees like that uh, I love birch trees in particular because I like the white bark and um, there's one down the road for me 
And if they ever take that one down, I'll be sad because I can actually see that one from my house. And uh, next time I go out and record outside, I'll try and show you. I like nature, guys. I've always loved nature. Uh, I don't get outside as much as I like to. Because, one, I'm not supposed to be in the sun as much as I would like to be. Um, if you haven't, if you didn't know, I, I did have kidney cancer a couple years ago. And um, I had to go for genetic testing to make sure it wasn't hereditary because I have kids. And um, they advised me to stay out of the sun as much as possible, even though I can't stand it. I do go out and I mow, but that's pretty much it. I sit in the shade, don't get me wrong. But This is a craft that is hard for me to do outside because I can't take everything out there with me. I mean, I do have a table outside, but it's a picnic table, and I don't want to sit at no picnic table and do this. So, because I love doing my diamond craft, that's why I'm inside mostly. Plus, you know, we had a hot summer this summer. It was really hot. It's just now starting to cool down and getting nice and fall-like. And I'm not a fall kind of person because I know winter's right around the corner when fall hits. So, uh, yeah. That's the only reason I don't like fall. I like the cooler weather. That's not the only reason I don't like fall. I don't like fall, too, because that's when the spiders start coming back out. And I sure don't like spiders. Um, here's another one that I like. I'm going to do this pretty big, probably a 60 by 60, because I want to do this for one of the craft shows. Uh, I just thought that was a nice tribute to our veterans. And um, my neighbor is actually a Vietnam War vet. And uh, my grandfather died in World War II. And so, but I thought this was a nice tribute to those who have lost their lives and who have um, fought in, in different wars. And uh, yeah, like I said, I want to get that one pretty big. Um, even if I don't take it to the craft show, I want it, I want it pretty big. I might end up keeping it. That's the thing. See, I'm going to end up getting these and then I'm going to end up keeping them. Ah, just so many pretty ones that I love. So hard to resist. Okay, now see, my 310s were good on Home Fun, but these here, these are, what are these? These are 938s. Seem to be, they don't have, a, they don't have any trash in them, but the drills themselves have some tabs. Not all of them, but... More than what those black ones had, so that's weird. That's weird for home fun. But uh, this is getting there. And like I said, when I'm finished today, I will put up a picture on Instagram to show you the progress. If it's not done, I might just try and get it done between today and tomorrow. But uh, I'll still put up the progress picture for today, even if it's not done. But I'm going to try and finish it first. So give me a few hours after this. And uh, I don't think it's going to be finished in a few hours, but we'll see. Now, let me look here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This one I don't think I've shown you yet. And it's just a cute little funny ladybug who actually reminds me of the ladybug from A Bug's Life. Uh, what was his name? Francis? I think that was his name, Francis. You know, I should look that up. I haven't seen any Bug's Life diamond paintings. Well, they would be so cool. I love that movie. I don't know how I feel about all the live action Disney movies. 
Uh, I haven't seen them, but I don't know how I feel about them. Uh, here's another one. It's a panther. He is absolutely gorgeous. Now, he will be mine if I get him and do him. Uh, I'm probably just going to have to get a wall dedicated to the animal pictures. Because it looks like I'm going to have quite a few of them. Ah, got a piece of the fur baby on here. I don't know if I got it. Yeah, I think I got it. But that one I'll probably do at least a 40 by 50. At least. So guys, I think I am just going to continue to work on this. I'll keep rolling unless it gets too long. Because uh, I want to try and finish this section while I'm with you guys. And then, um, call it a day. What do you think? What do you think? So I want to, I do want to thank everybody that has subscribed. Um, you guys have surpassed my goal. My goal for August was to have 50 subscribers by the end of August, and I passed that with flying colors. So I want to thank you guys for um, watching me and staying with me and, uh, you know, through my quirks and my good days and bad days. And I really appreciate it. You don't know how much I appreciate um, you guys sticking with me, and I hope we can just continue to grow. And... Uh, I'm sorry, I moved on to a different color, and now I can't get one out, because it's just one here. Ah! Really? There we go. But I do appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching me and, and listening to me and my rambles. And, um... I look forward to the day when I can do lives and talk to some of you guys. Uh, I'm still working on trying to figure it out. I think I'm just going to give up on this computer and um, try to get one on Black Friday or something. And that one I just set down had wings that I didn't see. So, uh, yeah. So, if you can, guys can, you know, hold out. I am going to try and get a new computer uh, Black Friday, which is, you know, a couple months away yet, but... That's when I'm going to get the best deal on a computer. And I just found another S. Dagnabbit. Told you. Never fails. Never fails. And that one's a doubler. So we can't use it. A lot of these. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if you're on the camera with this. But they're like stuck together and sometimes it's okay to break them apart but most of the time it's not because you're just going to have that tab on there if you do that oh, this is O's I only had a couple O's but uh, this week I will definitely be able to get on some lives um I'm not going to steal away from anybody else's lives. So if you have any questions or anything for me, you can find me on Instagram and ask me there. Or, uh, at Wishing Tales. Or if, I know I've said it already. Or you can go to my Facebook group at Wishing Tales Diamond Painting and ask me there. Because I don't want to step on anybody else's toes. When, we, when I go into somebody else's live, it's their live. And they're the ones that are there to answer the questions. So, um... I want to, you know, be respectful in that aspect and keep it their channel and their live. Because uh, I ask questions too, so. But like I said, if you have any for me, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and ask me there. And until I can get to do lives, which I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it because I really want to talk to you guys and be able to interact live with you guys. Because, um, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the comments and everything. And I try to get back to each and every one of you with uh, uh, an actual comment. Um, 
I know as I grow as a channel, that's going to be harder and harder. But I'm going to try. I'm still going to try and answer everybody with an actual comment and a thank you. Uh, besides just the like and the hearts, you know, which, you know, those are good too. Don't get me wrong. But uh, right now, this is the only way I can interact with you guys. So that's why I do that. And um, yeah, this is looking better and better every second here, guys. If you've never tried home fun before, uh, just so you know, I'm also not an affiliate of home fun. I don't get paid for this stuff. I just love their products. Um, but if you've never tried home fun before, I would give them a shot. I wouldn't start off with anything huge just in case you don't like it. But, um, ah, and then I just dropped all of my drills down the table. Oh my goodness. Well, at any rate, uh, I would give Home Fun a shot. Uh, I know there are some people who have had bad experiences. I would say give them another chance. Maybe they fixed the problem since you've had that picture, or you know, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just lucky and they've just done right by me. So. Or maybe they're watching all of our channels and getting suggestions from other reviews on other companies. That could be too. Wouldn't that be interesting to know? Hey, I'm going to finish this section, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm almost done with my coffee. And then I can seal it and frame it and hang it in my kitchen. And then it can remind me to get my coffee every morning. Because sometimes, sometimes I don't make coffee. Sometimes I just forget. I know, how can you forget to make coffee? Yeah, well, sometimes I just get busy with other things and I don't make my coffee. Like this morning, before I started doing this, I forgot to make my coffee. That's why I stopped and made it anyway. Which I will take a sip here in a few seconds. Um, I do seem to be a little crooked with these today. That's all right. Either they'll straighten out or I will straighten them out, right? Look, I missed a couple more S's. Those S's are just going to be giving me a fit. I can see that now. Mm-mm-mm. I'm actually sitting a little weird and it's hard for me to reach those over there so I'm sitting closer to the left side of my table than I am my right side of the table uh, I don't know if you've seen the um, which table I have is the Amazon I got it off of Amazon it's the drafting table that tilts up well it has the drawers on the right side so I tend to sit more close I tend to sit closer to the left side so that my legs don't hit the uh, um, drawers over here because I, I do that a lot too but because I'm sitting closer to my left it's hard for me to reach the jars on the right but that's alright I mean I'll figure it out it's no big deal uh, I have discovered that I do like working out of the jars the best uh, I have the containers with the 28 grid. Um, I like those too. But I really like the jars the best because I can set them on the sides. They're out of my way. They're not sitting up on the table. I won't knock them over. Um, my animals know not to get up here. Plus I keep it tilted kind of a little bit anyway. So if they were to jump up here, they're just going to slide right off the table anyway. But um, most of my cats, my cats all know better than to get up on tables anyhow. I think I mentioned that last week too, I'm not sure. Coming down the home stretch. I don't know about you guys, but I feel really accomplished not only when I finish a section, but when I finish a complete picture. 
I feel really like I've really accomplished something and uh, it makes me feel good because it's like hey I did that I might not have made the pattern or the drills but I worked all those drills onto that thing and that is the result of my efforts makes me feel good yeah uh, almost done I got R's and T's left and then I will turn this off and do some other things R's and then I'll work on the next section uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get this done tonight, but uh, I will do at least one more section before I post the picture, so just keep that in mind before you go over to Instagram, that it's not going to be there for a while. It'll be up there later tonight, though. How's that? We'll do, we'll do that. No matter what I have finished, I will post it up there on Instagram this evening. It is really pretty though. And I don't think you can see in the camera because I know I have you zoomed in on these, uh, these are coffee beans, I think. I can't see the picture right away. Uh, what is that? I don't know. That's a coffee bean. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you can see this coffee bean up here. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up my teas and then I'm going to get. Uh, remember to come back tomorrow for part three and the final part of comparing the five companies. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link those two, part one and two, down there. Um, in the description box and I will see you guys on Instagram Facebook or here so you guys have a great week have a great weekend and I will see you next time bye